And uh, in one of my previous uh, videos, I had a few comments about how did I get my FPV signal onto my tablet. And um, I'm going to show you how i done that today. So, first thing, compatibility. Uh, it's quite a bit of an issue because some people's phones or tablets, they don't um, support the OTG cable, um, which is USB on the go. So you need to get an OTG cable compatible with your device. And another thing is it's not compatible with all um, phones and tablets. Uh, I've got an Android phone and a larger Android tablet and it will not work on will not work on them at all. And then the second thing you need is uh, one of these EasyCap devices which has um, composite video, two audio phonos on there and then a S video connection as well. And then the way I've got it set up is I'm basically just uh, plugged into it with the uh, composite video and then that's going straight into the receiver and then I'm picking the signal up from the receiver. Uh, and that's all that's to it really. Um, the software side of it is uh, EasyCap Viewer. Uh, this application is about £3. Um, this was, uh, I think it was nearly £5 it was, the EasyCap video adapter. So for around about £8, that's if it works and it's compatible with yours, uh, you can connect your uh, video output from your um, FPV receiver and get your video displayed on your tablet, which is uh, pretty handy. Um, there's another thing as well about the piece of software. When you first get it, before you plug your cable in, make sure you go in to the preferences and... Deselect signal detection because if not, when, as soon as you plug it in, it will just quit the application each time and you'll think it's not working properly. And also, with these, um, it's a bit of a lottery on which um, chipset you get because there's a few different chipsets out there apparently. And the application only supports uh, the U, um, sorry, STK1160 chipset and also the UTV00. 7 chipset um, so you need to it's a bit of a lottery which one you get really from what I've heard but this one comes from banggood.com I'll put a link in the description so you can find it but uh, yeah you either need the UTV007 chipset or the STK1160 chipset um, there's a way you can find that out you can pull it apart which is reasonably easily just uh, take the the um, plastic off, and on the the chip in there, it will tell you which chipset it is. So, yeah, that's the only trouble. So it's a bit of a lottery which one you get and whether it's going to work or not. But uh, if you get one and you don't want to take it apart, just uh, select whichever one, and then it will it should work as long as it's compatible with your device. So, yeah, I thought I'd just share that with you anyway. Um, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, links will be in the description. Thanks.